one. I'm in a different location today. I'm out in the Roberto Mountain chain, which is west of the Donianas across I-25. For those of you that know the area, it's closer to uh, Picacho Peak. But anyway, there's a little flood control concrete berm that looks like was put up to prevent erosion. Um, but what we're going to do today is talk about the KRX and the long-term longevity review um, and ownership of this with a ton of miles on it. Um, but before I get into that, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything. I'm trying to get the subscriber base up. So if you could do that, it, it would uh, help me out tremendously. Um, and before I get into the review, <clears throat> make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to ask you guys an opinion and see what you guys think. And perhaps you can comment below. So, longevity. Just hit 7,000 miles. That is a ton of miles for a UTV. And the only issue I've had was the same one I've talked about, which is the clutch one-way bearing. Kawasaki took care of it. If you uh, haven't seen that video, I'll throw a link to it somewhere up here so you guys can see it. Um, but that's basically it. The other thing I did was replace the uh, battery on it. And um, as you can see, um, the stock battery lasted about a year. It really didn't leave me stranded but it started cranking slower so I just said I'll get it but I picked this battery up here at uh, I think it was O'Reilly's not too expensive I think it was like 130 bucks two year warranty so that's nice that uh, you can pick the batteries up at any uh, auto parts store um, but anyway uh, ton of miles very reliable really really enjoyed the machine uh, we're gonna see how long it lasts until I start having major problems with it couple of upgrades that I did do to the machine <clears throat> excuse me and this is just recently I added the super ATV billet aluminum aluminum radius rods and as you can see here they look really really sharp compared to the old ones which you'll see here in the other got kind of throw that up for comparison but they're really really nice they are super strong and they give you a ton of extra clearance because of the arch on them and just improves the overall suspension quality of ride Kawasaki already has great geometry on this the ride is plush um, and once I added the shock therapy stuff it just took it to the next level so a couple of other things I had done I will we'll go under the front here let's see if I can give you a shot of that but I re had the super ATV um, frame stiffener put on there <clears throat> This is, uh, of course, a solid steel plate to keep the frame from tweaking when you're going over tough terrain like rock crawling, you know, going up and down the terrain that we have out here. So I uh, hope you can see that. But anyway, put the frame stiffener on there. And yeah, 7,000 miles. I think it's a good machine. <clears throat> it is not a powerhouse, as I've indicated before. If you're looking for a tur turbo model, this isn't it. Uh, really pleased with it uh, there are a couple of things that I if I could change them well I'd probably should have got rims there are different wheels <clears throat> I keep losing the caps on the uh, stock ones I don't know why they just keep popping off got tired of replacing them so just leave it they're just for aesthetics anyway as you guys know I've added the particle separator the did the uh, rugged radio uh, just a really really overall reliable machine I'm very confident when I come out in it that it's gonna fire up every time and not leave me stranded did have the spark plugs replaced as well I figure about 7,000 miles is about that time but anyway guys just super reliable machine I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do on the tires um, narrowed it down but we'll see where that goes um, as far as if I go back to the X comps or what I'm gonna do I am leaning that way if you guys have any further ideas I appreciate the comments in the other video throw them down below maybe there's a tire I don't know about and you guys do but anyway I really like this guy uh, it's one of the best machines I've owned um, one other thing I did have done they replaced the fuel filter wasn't bad still wasn't restricted but good to have done um, just holding up really 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 well the suspension is amazing 
the plushness of the ride is amazing and yeah if you're looking for a reliable machine I don't think anybody has one with as many miles as this so we will see we'll see how long this uh, good old Kawasaki engine lasts I have been keeping up with the maintenance nothing but synthetic oils um, everywhere that it's needed that's just the way to go in my opinion and um, did have a question from a viewer if I'm running premium fuel in it sometimes I do sometimes I don't uh, it just depends on the brand of fuel that I'm getting I did notice with some of the lower end brands I get a little bit of pinging but no big deal uh, but other than that it it runs good on pretty much anything that I throw at it a very nice overcast day rained a little last night which is nice for the desert but uh, I uh, if I had some cons to say about this well I wish there was a four-seater there's rumors that Kawasaki may make one you know but again that's just rumor we will see um, but no I'm really happy with it guys and what do you guys think should Kawasaki make a turbo should they make a supercharged one would you guys purchase it if they did I know I would I'd be looking at that not that I need the extra power but it's always nice to have this is about 112 116 with the Graves exhaust on there but it's enough for me and what I do and uh, I just think it's an aggressive looking machine I can't really think of any other cons other than the power and maybe a four seat but I just think it looks good it looks sharp and for me the most important thing is not aesthetics it's reliability and uh, having the confidence to come out in the middle of the desert 20 30 miles away and have the confidence that it's going to start up but 7,000 miles long time and long-term review on this so uh, what do you guys think drop it in the comments would you guys buy a supercharged model would you guys want to have a four-seater I think I would I might have to be tempted at that point but I appreciate the support guys have any questions drop them below I'll try to get to them I'll keep this video short you guys have a great day